In a ruling today, Sir Andrew McFarlane, said Phillips will remain sealed for 90 years. He said, I have held that, because of the constitutional position of the sovereign, it is appropriate to have a special practice in relation to royal wills. There is a need to enhance the protection afforded to truly private aspects of the lives of this limited group of individuals in order to maintain the dignity of the sovereign and close members of her family. Convention states that an application to seal the will of a royal is made to he also added the ruling was to make all information as public as possible without defeating the purpose of sealing the will. Sir Andrew heard arguments put forward by representing Philip, who died in April and the Attorney General. The judge revealed he had held a series of meetings in private in order to avoid undue to publicity and conjecture. He added, the publicity would, therefore, in part, defeat the core purpose of the application. I accepted the submission that, whilst there may be public curiosity as to the private arrangements that a member of the royal family may choose to make in their will, there is no true public interest in the public knowing this wholly private information. The media interest in this respect is commercial. The degree of publicity that publication would be likely to attract would be very extensive and wholly contrary to the aim of maintaining the dignity of the sovereign. Philip's lawyers had also argued multiple hearings concerning his will would be deeply intrusive to the Queen and royal family. Sir Andrew now has a safe which holds 30 envelopes concerning the sealed wills of deceased members of the royal family. The royal to have their will sealed was Prince Francis of Teck. Philip was laid to rest on April 17 at the age of 99 years old. A small group of Philip's close friends and family attended the service at St. George Chapel in Windsor Castle. Philip's was coffin was carried to his final resting place on a custom-built Land Rover Defender the Duke had helped design over the last 16 years. Walking behind, were Philip's eldest children the Prince of Wales and Princess Royal, followed by their siblings the Earl of Wessex and Duke of York. In the third row was the Duke of Sussex and Duke of Cambridge but between the two royal brothers, their troubled relationship well documented, was their cousin Peter Phillips.